About seven or eight years ago, here at our studio garden, we planted two little patches of small bulbs. And you can see one type of those bulbs right down here. This is known as pushkania or striped squill. And if you look at this patch, it leaves a lot to be desired. The uh, plants look a little weak. They're, they're just not growing very strong. But uh, you can see some of the flowers here, a little white and uh, blue striped petals there. But uh, overall, didn't perform all that well. Now, seven or eight years ago when we did this, we wanted to plant these two groups of bulbs out here under the shade of our trees. And I've got a patch of the other bulb right over here that I want to show you. And it's looking a little bit better. If you look down right here, we can see the Chiandoxia, or glory of the snow, as it's called. And you can see that it has fared much better. These were planted here in the shade of this tree in the fall, again, seven or eight years ago. And they've established themselves much, much better. I really love those fairly large blue flowers, really colorful blue with that large white center, and even the scapes of the flowers that give you some color. This kind of reddish uh, purplish color there on the plant and a good number of flowers as well and uh, really making a great display here in this garden. Now this is something that uh, you can do in the shaded garden under the shade of deciduous trees. The shade in the summertime helps keep those bulbs cool and our hot summer temperatures usually means the death of a lot of bulbs that we try to naturalize in our garden. The uh, warm temperatures cause the plants or the bulbs to continue to respire. And uh, the uh, higher the temperatures, the more the respiration, the more the metabolic activity. And it can really take up the energy that's stored in the bulbs. So after a while, it's all used up and the bulbs die. So if we put those bulbs in the shade, or at least some afternoon shade, they can survive a little bit longer. Well, the glory of the snow did look glorious here a couple weeks ago because in Stillwater we got a light snow and they were coming up, they were blooming while the snow was on the ground. It really looked quite spectacular. The glory of the snow is a plant that, uh, again, you know, as its name says, blooms late winter, early spring, and this is a uh, good thing to plant for those of you who have shade gardens, have gardens that are shaded by deciduous trees because the plants come up so early. They have those green leaves present. They can photosynthesize, store up that energy in the bulb below, and then go dormant all while the deciduous trees have yet to leaf out. So this fall, when the bulb catalogs arrive in the mail, think about some of these plants for those shaded areas of your garden like the wonderful glory of the snow.